What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Seriously Today. We are going to be taking a bit more of an in-depth look at the JB4 Connect app. Now, just before I get into that, I just want to mention that I do also have the USB cable that allows you to connect your JB4 to a laptop for logging purposes, but I decided to buy the wireless connect kit for the simple reason that it is just so much neater and simpler you don't have to worry about a cable laying around in your football area or your laptop potentially sliding off the seat um, it's just simpler it's neater and it works and that was a selling point for me so i think without further ado let's get into the app okay so when you open the app for the first time just before you connect to the jb4 go into the settings tab and make sure that you select the appropriate engine type for your vehicle also make sure that you select the appropriate connection type that you'll be using to connect to your JB4 now this display tab basically allows you to connect to the JB4 to start taking logs and it shows you six different gauges here now these six gauges can be customized to show any of the available parameters which the system can read so if you want to change any of them it's quite simple actually you simply touch on the screen and hold and then you can select from one of the available parameters that you would like to see the next screen is the export screen now this lists all the logs that you have stored on your phone so if you click on a specific log you've got the option to email it rename delete or graphically view the data if you click on graph it will basically show you all your data that's been logged in a graphical format now initially when you open the screen for the first time you're not going to see any data displayed you physically have to go into the little settings button top right hand corner and select the parameters that you would like to see and once you're done go back and it will show you all your your data in a graphical format You've also got the option to view the numerical data um, in a CSV viewer if you have one installed on your phone, such as Microsoft Excel, for example. The next screen is basically allows you to read any codes that have been stored on your ECU. So if you've got any hard codes stored on your ECU and you want to read them, simply click on read codes. The app will access the ECU and read any codes that's been stored now in this case I don't have any code stored you've also got the option to show any saved codes and delete codes as well the next tab is the settings tab now we've already gone through the primary settings there's quite a bit of technical settings here guys um, I'm not going to go into detail with all of these settings I think the purpose of this video is really just to give you an overview of what the app is about and what sort of settings are available. Now under the JB4 settings, here you can basically customize the inputs for your custom map. So under user adjustment, that's where you'll enter the data for your custom map 6. You've also got options to enter your boost fail safe values, your fuel open loop values and there are a couple of other options here as well uh, pertaining to meth and uh, waste gate and so forth under read only that basically gives you information about the VIN number of your vehicle as well as any last safety or fail safe um, codes that were triggered then you've got methanol options which allows you to to customize your methanol and nitrous input you've got uh, the map option which allows you to select the specific map that you want to activate on your module and then we've got a firmware option which basically allows you to update the firmware of your JB4 when new firmware becomes available under app settings we've got a couple of options pertaining to auto logging um, shift indicator the log file name you can you can change the suffix that you want to add to the log file name you can change the display units for your temperature as well as your boost units you can activate the ethanol input if you are using ethanol 
and then there's some auto connect and disconnect options as well as disabling the GPS access then we've got gauge settings now the gauge settings basically allows you to change the theme of your gauge at the at the moment there's only a default theme and a needle full theme the default theme essentially looks like that I however actually prefer the needle full theme which looks like that you do have the option to change the gauge colors but those options actually only pertain to the default theme and then we've got a couple of options over here pertaining to specific parameters that you display on on the display tab so if you choose any of these three parameters to display on your display tab you can actually go and alter the maximum value which will be displayed on the on on those specific gauges so that's quite nifty as well then we've just got other app functions which uh, allows you to clear any saved Bluetooth devices and clear any saved codes and then um, there's a couple of developer options at the end which is not really applicable to me at this stage so I think in a nutshell that's that is essentially an overview of, of the app okay so just one final note guys um, I just want to show you guys how responsive the app is um, in terms of giving feedback so I'm just gonna give the car a couple of revs uh, just to show you the responsiveness on the, on the app I think I think this app is actually fairly responsive I think there's actually very little lag okay guys so that's essentially it I hope you guys have a bit of a better understanding of what the app is about um, it's not something that I typically sit and watch all the time while I'm driving but it's definitely nice to have it there if you want to take a quick log or if you need to read any codes on your ECU or if you want to change any map settings on your ECU as well. Um, so it's definitely a winner in my book and I definitely would recommend it if you are planning on running the JB4 system. It's just so much better than lugging your laptop around and having to worry about cables laying around in your footwell areas. So yeah, it's definitely a winner in my book. If you guys enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up any questions comments or suggestions drop them into the comment box and please do subscribe for more content until next time guys